Jane, Maria Carla. By now, we're all familiar with the North Italian community of Maria Carla Costa. Watch out, Eugene! I was exactly like this, fake, and then he wrong and he got mine. We did the Italian Vogue, and um, he chopped it a little bit on my hair. Not in purpose, though. And so I had to chop his hair back, you know what I mean? <laughs> eye for eye, yeah. Eugene may have been on to something all along, though. Because it's gonna be a surprise. I'm gonna have something which is gonna transform me into something else and more glamour. And Maria Carla was the talk of the litter show with her glamour suit at the Blonde Frock. Regardless of her new look, it's Maria Carla's playful personality and her passion for the model's role in realizing an artistic vision that has made her an industry favorite. I really like give myself to fashion. I, I make them manipulate me, you know, and I try to be smart about it. That's why, like, I think pre people appreciate it and work towards the uh, the develop of not being a model, but just let's work towards what we are creating, this art. It's a, a little bit kind of a Zoolander thing, so <laughs> with me, I hope, like, it's not that ridiculous, but when I work towards to be a model, kind of like it's funny, you know, and I have a laugh, I'm very like self-ironic about it, and that's what is fun, you know, I never take myself too serious, but then I, at the end I take myself so serious because that's the only way to make it believable. Well, I think like I'm lucky because I, I work with everybody in fashion business, so I'm, I make my choice now and I have my kind of my family around me, people that I really love and I kind of like, I'm gonna like love for the rest of my life beyond me being a model. You know, for me now, it's like family. I have Valentina, I have Carla, I have Jean Paul, I have Stefano Pilata, I have Ricardo Tici. You know, they're all like, a, I just work for pleasure.